Welcome to a completely honest, completely factual, and completely serious documentary about the ecology of Interay. Here you will see how the different species in Interay interact. <laughs> Come with us as we show you the diverse and dangerous ecosystem that we call our home, Interay. Be warned, what you're about to see may offend you. Standing high, got some issues that nobody can see. And all of these emotions are pouring out of me. I bring them to the life in you. It's only right. This is the soundtrack to my life. The soundtrack to my life. Oh. Welcome to our large and scary biome, Cortman Park Secondary, inhabited by hundreds of organisms. Allow us to show you the ecology of one of its ecosystems, Interay. Ah, here we have a regular inter -A grade 10 class. In inter -A, the teachers are producers, the grades 9, 10, 11 are all primary consumers, and the grade 12s are secondary consumers. Now, let's watch nature take its course as the grade 12s prey on a group of unsuspecting grades 9, 10, and 11. Hey, give me that! Huh? I'm bigger than you! I'm high in the food chain! Get in my belly! Oh. Oh. <laughs> However, some organisms have developed very complex and unique ways of defending themselves against the secondary consumers. These adaptations will allow them to survive unharmed in this environment. At the top of our food chain, we have our two apex predators, Glenzilla and Mr. Bruno. Unfortunately for the inter ecosystem, there is also an invasive species, the grade eights. For the invasive species to survive and they thrive in the inter-A ecosystem, they must adapt to playing ultimate. Some will adapt, some will not.
The worst, but my life is glorious. But I know that I leave that be hurdle and I'm so victorious. Take a look, I'm a symbol of There are many examples of mutualism in interrail. Oh, hey, like sharing so food sure. and drinks awesome. and lockers. These are also some of the ways that nutrients cycle hey. through the hey, interrail environment. Okay. Oh yes, yes you can. Oh, oh, yes. Hey Virginia, can oh, I yeah. yeah, sure. Yeah. Hey, the marginal concept in economics. Okay, so suppose a company determines that the cost of producing X units of its product is C times X dollars. We call from section D that C times X is called the marginal cost function. Do you guys get that? Oh, I get it. <laughs> <laughs> An example of commensalism in the interior ecosystem is giving another organism your answers. Yeah. Okay. Um, is it possible that you'd like coffee at all? Uh, sure. Yes. Paper please. Oh, yeah. Thank you. You're like honestly the best. Like, thank you. Oh. Okay. <laughs> There are many examples of parasitism in the inter-A environment. Examples include stealing abiotic factors from other organisms. Abiotic factors include chairs and tables and seats. Also, parasitism can come in the form of stealing food or stealing books. I was gonna eat my lunch, and then someone came and attacked me and took my food. How did that make you feel? Very, very sad. Really, really sad? Yes. Why was that? Because it's my food, okay? I like food. You can't just take my food away from, like, no! You don't just do that to someone. Do you want your food back? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> So, what were you upset about? Uh, someone took my food. How did that make you feel? Very sad. Very sad? Were you upset about that? Yeah. What was your initial reaction? Uh, I just stood there and stood yelled. There, yelled. I so, would you want your food back? What? Would you want your food back? Uh... <laughs> no. 